Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and rule well, and I want to give a peace and blessings to the Ikem across the four corners of the earth who teach this word and risk their life to do so. Uh, I want to get into something um, basically on how you have to be, what kind of mindset you have to have. Uh, in this everyday walk, um, especially, you know, dealing with, with people, um, dealing with these everyday people, man, these people are, are, are demons, but really ultimately dealing with yourself, dealing, dealing with that inner man and, and not, and not being given into idleness, you know, and, and basically, uh, um, keeping yourself in order and keeping yourself in check. Um, these are some scriptures um, that basically kind of direct on how you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to walk. So uh, this is Sirach uh, 5, I started at verse 1. Verse 1, it says, Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. So in the first one, it says, Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Now, another example um, of that would be when Yahweh Shai said, uh, yeah, I'll grab it. When he was talking about being lukewarm, right? Yeah, I'll grab it. Right here. It's Revelations 3 and 16. Well, 17, it says, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have, and have need of nothing and knowest that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Right. So those who say they have goods, those who say they need nothing, they don't need anything. They know they don't know that they're wretched. They're they're miserable. They're poor. And some examples of that, um, some examples of that well, small examples um, will be look at the celebrities of these uh, of, of these times, man. You know, they're, you know suicidal you know they they're they look drugged out they don't know who they are you know they have no peace no everywhere they go pictures getting snapped of them and it's you know they don't have any they're a celebrity 24 7 you know so they act 24 7 they don't know who they truly are you could you could look in their eyes and see you know that you know it's a demon on them and you know they don't know that you know they're miserable you know inside so let me go back to Sirach 5. Quick. And finish that off. Right, this is uh, 2. It says, Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Right, so follow not thine own minds and thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. So don't walk in the ways, uh, don't follow your own mind, man. You know, your mind will tell you to do some things that you're not supposed to be doing or or to, oh, just take another day off or, uh, uh, you know, you could do a video tomorrow or, you know, well, don't call that brother back, man. You know, that, that you'll see him Saturday, Lord willing, you know, or, you know, uh, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't read today, you know, don't study tonight, you know, you know, you've been at work all day. So, you know, scripture in Soraka also says much idleness bringeth evil. You know, this is three. It says, and say not who shall control me for my works for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. All right. You got a lot of two thirds in the world who say, OK, well, sh shit, I, I seen yesterday. I smoked weed yesterday. Yesterday, I committed adultery yesterday. You know, I mean, I ain't, I ain't get judged. Most high his he's long suffering, you know, so you're not going to get judged now, but you're definitely going to get judged. You know, what comes around goes around. So the plant that you see, the plant, the seed that you uh, plant, if it's a bad seed, is going to grow evil. If you plant good seeds, it's going to grow good things, you know. And part of uh, uh, planting the good seed, or being, being uh, part of planting the good seed is doing the things that you're supposed to be doing while you have a chance to do it. Okay. It says, this is for it says, say not, I have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me. See, for the Lord is long-suffering, 
he will in no wise let thee go. Okay. Now, look, one thing I want to get in uh, in the first part of that scripture it says, say not I have sinned and what harm hath happened unto me for the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Right. So you got a lot of people say, OK, like I said, you know, what, what has happened unto me? You know, it's the scripture that also say uh, that the um, that the um, the Lord's eyes is 100 times brighter than the sun. So he sees everything you do. You can't hide from the Lord. You know, you may be able to fool men, but you can't hide from the Lord. You know, for the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go concerning prophet, uh propitiation, but not without fear to add sin unto sin and say not his mercy is great he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins for mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation resteth upon sinners make no tarrying to turn to the lord and put now off from day to day All right that goes back with being with that lukewarm uh, lukewarm scripture being lukewarm for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth and in thy security Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of, of vengeance. Right. So make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Don't put it off day by day. You know, like I was saying earlier, sometimes your mind could, could get you to do some shit like that. You know, uh, you know what? You know, another example. You know what? You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, I know brother said uh, we're supposed to be reading this chapter this month, but. You know, I'm a sneaker. You know, I'm going I'm to read another chapter this month or, you know, the spirit ain't know me to do a video right now, which if the spirit ain't know you to do a video, then don't do a video. But don't use that as an excuse if you haven't done anything all week. You know, if you if you uh, mark, if your target is three videos a week, you need to be doing three videos a week or else you're going to I mean, you will be judged for that. And I have testimonies on that, you know. The Most High is a jealous power. He tells you that, you know, and if you give him more time to yourself and give him more time to this world than you giving him, he going to fuck you up. Fuck your shit up. You know, and I had to learn that the hard way. You know, that's why it says make no tarry and turn to the Lord and put not off day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance, right? So when you thought shit was all good, you're gonna be destroyed. You know, because you 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 put off day to day to turn to the most high. You know? Uh, you know, none I didn't read today, so tomorrow I didn't read today, nothing happened. So I ain't gonna read tomorrow, so nothing else gonna happen. You know what I mean? And you know, eventually the lack of studying, the lack of studying, um, uh, will catch up to you. You know, you be, you start uh, you'll start to forget things. You know, things that you post. You know, you start to start to forget. If you ain't brushing up on uh, brushing up on what you're supposed to be doing, you're gonna forget it. You're gonna lose it. You know, that's why we need to need to um, basically we need to. Um, it says uh, study to show thyself approved. So basically, you need to make your calling an election sure. And how do you do that? By studying, by reading, by being interested, asking questions, teaching, preaching to the best of the, best of the abilities, putting out these videos, hitting your, if your quota is three videos a week, hitting three videos a week, reaching out to brothers, you know? Let me see if I can grab anything else. Calling brothers, checking on brothers, you know what I mean? Making sure brothers is good, helping brothers out in time of need, being brotherly, man, and... That's what it's about, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, the brother, the brethren around you is your real, your Akim is your real, your real family. Even how I said that, you know, it's your, that's your family. You know, whoever do the will of the father is my brother. Let me grab this. This is Sirach 33 and 27. So this is talking about if you have a, a servant, but. One thing I got from this that uh that helped me it says send him to labor that he be not idle for idleness teacheth much evil right so if you're idle you know you stuck you know you won't you slack you know nine times out of ten when you slack you know you forget things and 
you know, you don't, you, your flesh takes over, you know, and if you're not feeding your spirit, then the flesh overtakes the spirit and your flesh wants to do evil continually. And, you know, you feed more of the flesh, the more evil you're going to do, the more you're going to be punished eventually to your death. But you feed the spirit, if you feed the spirit, right, the more uh, likely you'll be able to make it out this bitch when this bitch burn, you know? So, um... Hopefully that video was edifying. I hope brothers got something from that lesson. Um, I want brothers just to keep going, keep pushing, do what you got to do. Keep a steady mind.